Here is day five of making $100,000 on TikTok using only organic TikTok videos, no paid ads. Also check out the new setup. Woo. What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're finally getting to the fun stuff. We're gonna be making the store, making the logo, making the TikTok page, and finally getting ready to actually start this thing. Also check the new setup, oh my gosh. Okay, so this beaut of a product is gonna be called Sandscapes. The reason being is because every time you turn it upside down, just like an hourglass, it makes a new landscape with the sand and all the different colors. Super cool. So for our logo, we can just write Sandscapes in the cool font, right? No, no, we are not like every other dropshipper on this app. Pro tip, in order to be successful with dropshipping, you need to be different. The key to success is always, always, always by hitting a market from a different angle. So let me show you what logo I chose. So for the base of my logo, I've always had really good success making my product a drawing. And then we take this drawing. If you need to, go to remove.bg to remove the background out of your photo. After playing around for a bit, this might be the one, I don't know. Or maybe that. You guys let me know which one do you like better, one or two, this one being two. But for now, I'm just gonna download this. Hit download. Go ahead and pop that sucker right into our new folder and pop them back into remove.bg. Get a nice no background version of the logo. Oh. Then I went ahead and made a TikTok account. You guys don't need to see that, super straightforward. I actually used an old account of mine, just privated all the old videos. You don't wanna delete them, that hurts your score in the algorithm, just private them. So that's why I have 180 followers. But by the way, you guys need to chill, stop using my product. I knew this was gonna happen and I'm fine with that, I'm accepting it, but come on. Seriously, satisfying Sandscape, Sandscape's my, whoop. Come on, people. <laughs> Take what I'm teaching and find a new product. If you really need help finding a product, DM me on Instagram and I'll find one with you. But don't take my product. Don't use my videos when I'm posting them. That ruins the experiment. And I know where the report button is. And to watch me make the Shopify account and start designing the store, go to my YouTube right now, subscribe, and watch the full video there. What's up, guys? If you're seeing this, that means you're on my YouTube channel and I appreciate you so much for being a subscriber. Thank you. I give out this value for free in hopes that you subscribe and, and help me make my YouTube channel a reality. So let's get into making the Shopify account for Sandscapes. First up, super easy, just putting your email, fill out this form. It really doesn't matter what you put for these. I've never noticed a difference. Okay, and we're in, the account's created. As you can see, I have till August 30th to finish my site before I get charged, which will be done in the next few days. So one of the very first things I like to do is go to online store, themes and select the dawn theme i actually really enjoy it and it's free it's amazing i'm thinking about going to the app store and purchasing a theme from the app store not one of shopify's native themes but a theme from an app for example ecom solid i don't know if i'll use this yet but it comes with some amazing themes that just make your website look that much better and customized. And I know I say this all the time, but you need to be different. If you think about it, there are hundreds of thousands of people that are using the free Shopify themes every single day. So even if you're selling a different product than them, when a customer comes onto your website, are they gonna be familiarized with something dropshippy and scammy or like a three month shipping time product? Most likely. So make sure that when you're building your site, it looks different. Even if it is a free theme, you can make it look different and make it look more branded. We'll go into that. And I'll show you two examples, one bad one, one good one. So here's a good example, the Phantom Lock. They're a TikTok page that obviously, as you can tell, looks a bit more professional. Everything on the website is animated, including the, the, this part can use a little bit of work, but they have reviews, these little, favicon things are all animated it sets them apart makes them look more professional and for our bad example notice how there's like stock photos nothing special about this at all just a boring description stock photo very very bad compared to the other one and we'll end it with that make sure you come back tomorrow for day six where i show the rest of my shopify store creation and buying a domain very important and I know where to get one for $1 for a whole year. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. See you guys.